Hello, Westie students and families. The Westie counseling team has put together an informational video to help guide students and families as they transition through their senior year. We hope you find this information helpful and don't forget to reach out to your counselor with any questions or for more information along the way. As a reminder, in order to graduate, each student is required to have four credits of literacy, three credits of math, three credits of social studies, one of those credits must be from U.S. history, and .5 credit must be from civics, and nine credits of general electives. Starting with the graduating class of 2022, each student must also meet one of the state mandated requirements for graduation. The most direct way to meet this requirement is by getting a 470 on the evidence-based reading and writing section of the SAT and a 500 on the math section. If you are interested in learning about other ways to meet this requirement, please see your counselor. Planning to attend a four-year college or university? Then please pay close attention to the higher education admission recommendations. These recommendations state that students planning to attend a four-year college or university in Colorado should earn at a minimum the following credits in high school. Four years of English literacy, four years of math, three years of science, three years of social studies, one year of world language, and two years of academic electives. Make sure to check with your school regarding the world language requirement as many schools require two or three years. Please see your counselor for more information about these recommendations. Graduation is a day we are all looking forward to. Here's what you need to know to prepare for the big day. Cap and gown orders start in late January and run through May, but the longer you wait, the more expensive your order will be. If you are interested in ordering announcements, senior swag, or other merchandise with your cap and gown, packages are available through Jostens. For more information, visit Jostens.com. The end of third quarter always falls around spring break. This is when we do a final check to see who is graduating with honors. To graduate with honors, you must have a 3.5 cumulative GPA, college or post-secondary classes while in high school, 95% attendance in your senior year, no dashes your senior year, and an on-time completed application before the end of third quarter. Honor graduates are announced in early May. If you believe that you are graduating with honors, you do not need to tell Jostens that you are walking in white. Order your cap and gown and we will tell them what color. The last day for seniors falls on the Friday, the week before graduation. All seniors must be finished with their classes by 1 p.m. on the last day to participate in the May graduation ceremony. Get your work done early so you can enjoy the moving on up assembly on your last day of school. Remember to let us know what your plans are after graduation so you can wear your accepted shirt to the assembly. If you need more time after seniors last day, you can continue working and graduate during our summer graduation ceremony in June. Graduation is an awesome day to celebrate with your friends, family, and teachers. Make sure you finish on time so you can enjoy the big day. Okay juniors, one of the most important meetings of the year is your junior interview. This is a one-on-one -on -one meeting with your counselor where we review your credits, make a goal for the SAT, discuss your post-secondary plans, and make recommendations for classes senior year. It's important for you to know the pathway requirements which will get you to the career you want. In senior year, the month of October is commonly known as College Application Month, and it is also the first opportunity for you and your family to fill out the FAFSA. The FAFSA, or the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, opens October 1st. This application allows qualified students to get money from the federal government to attend college. College includes technical college or trade school, community college, and four-year colleges and universities. Students who were born outside of the United States should complete the CASFA instead of the FAFSA. The CASFA stands for the Colorado Application for State Financial Aid. It provides qualified students with money from the state government to attend college. Your counselor and or the Future Center can help you complete the FAFSA or CASFA in order to determine how much money you can estimate 
receiving to support you in your post-secondary endeavors. The last, but not the least, element of getting support to pay for college is scholarships. Many scholarships exist. There are national scholarships, state scholarships, and local scholarships. There are also scholarships available from the colleges or universities you're applying for. Once you've been accepted to a college or university, you are eligible to apply for that school's scholarships. Each scholarship has its own requirements and deadlines, so be sure to check the Future Center website for details. Senior year is without a doubt a challenging, yet super exciting time for students. You may be feeling a range of emotions, which is totally normal, um, and I'm here to chat with you about ways to manage that stress and some helpful tips you might find useful during your senior year. These definitely go hand in hand. So if you can regulate your stress, it becomes much easier to be successful with these tips. In addition to academics, stress affects so many other areas of your life, including your health and overall happiness. School, homework, extracurricular activities, social challenges, relationships, work, all contribute to stress and can often be difficult to find time to manage stress. However, if you make it a priority, you can start to relieve some of it. So number one, getting enough sleep. Being sleep deprived makes you less productive, which sets you back even further. So aim to get at least that eight hours a day. Number two, exercise regularly and eat a healthy diet. Now this doesn't mean you have to start lifting or running a marathon. Even getting outside or you know, for a walk once a day is a great way to get in the habit of consistent exercise. Um, what food we put in our bodies has a direct impact on our mental health. Limiting sugar or those processed foods and adding in some fruits and veggies over a period of time definitely helps with managing our stress levels. Number three, take calming breaths. When your body is experiencing a stress response, you're often not thinking very clearly. A quick way to calm down is to focus on your breathing, even if it's for only 30 seconds. This can be done anywhere, anytime. Number four, positive thinking. If you can learn to train your brain to think more positively, specifically in those negative situations, you can really end up creating a happier life for yourself and those around you. Here's some quick tips you might find useful your senior year that you've probably heard before but are a great reminder. Setting short-term and long-term goals, managing your time and creating a schedule, being involved outside of the classroom, actually participating in class, and finding what you're passionate about, involving yourself in some sort of leadership position, and most importantly, having some sort of support system. Whether that includes a teacher, a counselor, friends, or family members, having people that you can rely on when times are tough is so important in being successful in high school. As you head into your senior year, it may start to feel overwhelming thinking about all the tasks ahead. Don't worry, you are not in this alone. The Future Center provides many different opportunities to prepare for life after high school. Every 12th grader will have a senior interview with a Future Center counselor. This is an opportunity for students to chat one-on-one -on -one about life after high school. Take this opportunity to ask questions about colleges, the military, trade school, financial aid, scholarships, or anything else that might pique your interest. Seniors will also have Just Do It Days. This is a chance for you to fill out applications to whatever post-secondary option you are interested in. Just Do It Days will be held in your academic enrichment class with the guidance of the Future Center counselors. Seniors also get the opportunity to attend the annual hiring fair held at Westy. This is a great option for students who are looking to work after high school, whether part-time while attending school or full-time. Lastly, students who are interested in the military will be able to take the ASVAP. This is the military entrance exam. The result from this exam allows you to join specific branches of the military. Please remember to pay attention to your emails and the school website as many important announcements will be coming your way throughout the year. Hi soon to be seniors. We all know that your senior year can be exciting, new, and sometimes stressful. So here's some advice from your Westy seniors. Hi, my name's Alejandra and I'm a senior and will be graduating May 2021. Some advice I would give the upcoming juniors is to join as many clubs and classes. Although it's very nerve-wracking in the beginning, you'll come out with amazing friends and new memories. Junior year flies by and senior year will come right around the corner, so it's best to stay positive and do not suck off. 
Hey juniors, this message is for you guys. I just wanted to let you guys know like it's your last year, so make the best of it. Apply to as many scholarships and uh, colleges as possible so that it helps you in the long run. And just do like things that get you college credits while you're in high school, whether that's through concurrent enrollment or CU Succeed programs. And just always have fun, like make memories with friends and it's your last year, enjoy it. My name is Linda and I'm a senior and some advice I will give to the juniors is to stay up on stay on track on their classes try to get ahead if you can because it will really help you in your senior year try to join as many clubs as you can it will really bring you a lot of fun memories friends and you won't regret it regret it when you get out of high school